I was just sitting there waiting for my clothes to finish spinning and I was looking around and I looked up at this tree. I don't think I've ever showed y'all this particular tree. We've got one, two, three, four live oaks here in the backyard and two up in the front. And um, I lost one way before the hurricane up in the, up in the front yard, but we've only lost one from the hurricane. But I want you to see, you see the top of that up there? That's what all the trees look like when we came back. Only with absolutely nothing on them. Nothing, not a leaf. They all, all the trees look like toothpicks. And the neighbors lost a bunch of trees. I feel bad for them. They had a bunch of shade in their backyard and they got nothing but sky now. But this particular tree, I'll get on with my story. Uh, it was the last one to come back and we almost gave up on it. And I said, no, let's give it a little time. And it got a couple little shoots right there. I think was the first one, that one or that one, right or left, I'm not sure. The ones up on top came later, but just like one. And we almost chopped it down. Oh, and there was one more. I forgot. There was one more by the old shed. And it actually came back as well. And it had to go so the shed could go. It was pretty sad looking. But I, I still felt bad. But yeah, there's the story of the Hurricane Harvey tree. And I thought for a while it's going to make Keith get up there with a ladder and chainsaw that spot up at the top. You know, it's got a good four feet or so of nothing up there. But I think we should leave it, don't you? That's to remember it by. That was crazy stuff, y'all. Take it easy.